Nah, no, man, I ain't got nothing yet. I'm gonna wait till I get some more intel. What's going on? Dude. My family raised me better than that, and I'm gonna make myself a better person from here on out. China already said okay. He made a bad mistake, we're gonna drop the charges. It wasn't long ago that the Ball family was the talk of the sports world. A loud outspoken father and three brothers with legitimate NBA aspirations captured the attention of basketball fans everywhere. The oldest son Lonzo and the youngest son Lamelo fulfilled LeVar Ball's dream of having all of his sons play in the NBA. However, the middle son Leangelo has come close but has yet to appear in an NBA regular season game. After a promising high school career, Leangelo's dramatic exit from the college hoop scene led to an unconventional professional stint before he went undrafted in 2018. Since then, Leangelo's basketball journey has taken him all over the world, including a league created by his own father. Leangelo continues to pursue his NBA dream, recently signing with a pro team in Mexico, but the odds are stacked against him as he enters his mid-20s. Could this be the perfect opportunity for him to make another run at the NBA, or has his best chance at joining his brother already come and gone? Before we get to the content, make sure you drop like subscribe and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow now that we get all that out of the way to the intro Look right over here, you'll see all of these wonderful human beings that have been able to make some money by playing prize picks. And I give away my picks for free each and every day on my Instagram at the Flight Mike and Snapchat at Flight Mike Snap. And right now they're hooking up my subscribers fat when you use my promo code Flight Mike when you sign up for prize picks. And thank you, prize picks. For the sponsor. From a young age, Leangelo Ball and his brothers were trained to play basketball thanks to vigorous workouts curated by their father. Those workouts seemed to pay off for Leangelo when he got to high school in their hometown of Chino Hills, California. During his freshman and sophomore seasons, he teamed up with his older brother Lonzo to have largely successful years as he slowly built up his college recruiting profile. Jello proved to be a talented scorer with good outside touch to the point where he had his college decision set before his junior year. After scoring 20 points per game and helping his team get to the state championship game, Leangelo Ball verbally committed to UCLA after Lonzo had done so a year earlier. A few months later, Lamelo also committed to UCLA before even playing in high school. Leangelo had turned some heads with big scoring nights before, but he took it up another level when he got to play with both of his brothers during his junior season. They formed one of the greatest high school teams ever, regardless of sport, going a perfect 35-0 led by Lonzo, the national player of the year who averaged a triple-double. The Husky strategy involved pushing the pace, preferring to run their offense in transition as much as possible while pressing teams across most of the court on defense. For his part, Leangelo had another high-scoring season, averaging 27 points per game. Accomplishing this while playing alongside top high school recruits like his brother and future Hawks lottery pick on Yekea Kungwu. Right when you thought it couldn't get any better, it absolutely did. Leangelo Ball exploded in his senior year, averaging nearly 34 points per game, including back-to-back -back performances with a 72-point game a day before scoring 56. His high school career certainly received a lot of attention, but Jello wouldn't be seen as a top recruit in his class. 24-7 Sports gave him 3 out of 5 stars while he barely cracked the top 50 at his position and finished outside of the nation's top 200. Still, Leangelo was on his way to UCLA with LeVar predicting that all three of his sons would be one and done, going to the NBA after just one season at UCLA. But even his outspoken father expressed skepticism that his middle son would make it to the NBA, stating in a GQ interview that Leangelo could maybe get into modeling if basketball doesn't work out. So the middle ball brother showed up to UCLA with a bit of a chip on his shoulder, but there was still optimism that he could follow his brother to the pros. He got some run during a preseason exhibition game against Cal State, scoring 11 points in 16 minutes against his dad's alma mater. Leangelo seemed poised to forge his own path and create his own legacy in college before going to the NBA. That would be the only game Leangelo would ever play as a UCLA Bruin. The Bruins were heading to Shanghai to play Georgia Tech in their first game of the regular season. However, an incident that received international attention involving Leangelo completely overshadowed UCLA's narrow win. Leangelo was one of three UCLA players who were arrested on shoplifting charges at Louis Vuitton. These were offenses that carry up to 10 years of jail time in China. 
China. He was released from jail shortly after, but was forced to stay in his hotel until the legal process played out. They were eventually released and allowed to return to the United States after spending a week under what was effectively Chinese house arrest. Then, President Donald Trump even asked the Chinese president to help resolve their case. And after getting Leangelo Ball back to the United States, this resulted in a comical feud between LeVar Ball and Donald Trump. It doesn't make any hey, sense man. why you won't Did thank you thank the doctor? Did you thank the doctor for bringing you into this world? <laughs> But you better go back and find him because you lucky. Now, while some people deem this as unappreciative from LeVar Ball's perspective, you also have to understand that LeVar Ball was on this mission to generate as much free marketing and publicity for the Ball family as he possibly could. And he was doing an incredible job at it. At this point, the Ball family's fame or infamy continued to balloon. I mean, LeVar literally was beefing with the president of the United States for crying out loud. But even though they were back in the country, LiAngelo wasn't done facing the consequences of his actions. All three players were suspended indefinitely by the school with each player reading a public apology at a press conference announcing the suspension. In his apology, Leangelo said he'd make sure that this bad decision wouldn't define him for the rest of his life. Also like everyone to know that this does not who define who I am. My family raised me better than that and I'm gonna make myself a better person from here on out. That incident may not end up defining him as a person, but unfortunately, it would define his collegiate basketball career. Just a couple of weeks later, LeVar pulled LiAngelo from UCLA because of his displeasure with the school's suspension. Despite the uncertainty that came with the decision, LiAngelo said he trusted his dad as he got ready for the 2018 NBA draft and agreed with LeVar during an interview on the Today Show. Three months being suspended, that was too long for you to wait? Yeah, that's, that's the whole season pretty much. Now, that's just a long time of doing nothing. I'd rather be playing. China already said, okay, you made a bad mistake. We're going to drop the charges. That's the punishment they gave him. But in China for stealing, you But that's the punishment they gave years. him. Now we over here. Look, at, we got to serve some more punishment? He apologized. What is the long process for? We only went to UCLA. One and done to play basketball. Leaving UCLA involved considerable risk for LiAngelo, who wouldn't be able to show the NBA how he'd fare against other competitive programs and college prospects. But after LiAngelo's own actions got him suspended, LeVar decided to take his son's career into his own hands. The move surprised UCLA's coach, especially considering how difficult it would be for LiAngelo to convince anyone he was worthy of a draft pick without playing high-level organized basketball. So after leaving UCLA without playing in an actual game, LiAngelo would need to find a place to play in order to show NBA scouts that he was worth drafting to play at the next level. It turns out that his next stop would be in Lithuania with Lamelo, who LeVar had pulled out of high school signing with BC Pranay. The league they played in wasn't exactly teeming with NBA-ready talent, which was made apparent early on. In just their second game together in Lithuania, the Ball brothers combined to score 60 points in an exhibition game with LiAngelo scoring 29 points. In the team's actual games, LiAngelo led his team in scoring five times, but he wasn't exactly lighting the world on fire for a team that was fighting to avoid relegation. LiAngelo played in 14 games with Prinai with six starts and in about 21 minutes per game, averaged about 12.6 points per game on 42.5% shooting. However, his impressive three-point efficiency stood out. But at the end of the day, he was playing against competition much worse compared to who he would have faced had he stayed at UCLA. The day he declared for the 2018 NBA draft, LiAngelo scored 72 points in an exhibition game as part of the Big Baller brand challenge games. That was supposed to be a tournament that would attract elite EuroLeague teams outside of BC Prini's usual schedule and give LiAngelo and LaMelo a chance to play against some of the best teams outside of the United States. Instead, it ended up being an opportunity for LeVar to coach his boys as an assistant, then as head coach, while his sons put up inflated numbers against players far beneath them in talent. Prini kept losing their regular regularly scheduled games, and with their season going south fast, LeVar pulled his sons out of Lithuania with two games left, citing issues with the coach, which was nothing new for the ball patriarch. All the while, LiAngelo's draft stock didn't really improve. LiAngelo and his competition weren't good enough for NBA teams to devote resources to scout him all the way in Lithuania. Later that year, Prinai's head coach would say that the ball family tried to destroy the team. The boys had no inner drive to get better, and they weren't ready for the Lithuanian league, much less the NBA. LiAngelo ball worked worked out with the Lakers ahead of the draft, and later on the Warriors too, where he expressed optimism ahead of the draft while laying out other options if he didn't hear his name called. I feel pretty good going into the draft. I feel like I'm going to get drafted. I mean, I feel like I could produce 14, but if I don't, then it's going to be G League or 
could just go a free agent, join summer league team, something like that. Leangelo would go undrafted in 2018. And although LeVar wanted him to team up with Lonzo on the Lakers, he wouldn't even get signed to their summer league team. Later in an episode of their family reality show, Ball in the Family, Leangelo would say that his off-court actions caused him to go undrafted, even though Woj had previously reported that he wasn't on draft boards before the shoplifting incident. Still, Leangelo would need a new team, which quickly brought his dad back into the picture. LeVar had started his own league, the Junior Basketball Association, with the goal of giving high school prospects a chance to get paid while pursuing an alternative path to the NBA. Leangelo initially said that he wouldn't join his father's league, saying it would be a step back, but after getting nothing from any NBA or G League teams, he really didn't have much of a choice. Leangelo would sign with the Los Angeles Ballers to play with LaMelo. The results were predictably ridiculous. Leangelo had 50-point games against Swiss cheese defenses with absurd volume. He combined with LaMelo to have massive scoring nights capped by Leangelo's 58-point game to win the JBA championship. LeVar had said that the JBA would be Leangelo's road back to joining his brother on the Lakers, but winning a championship in a league created by your father doesn't exactly guarantee you an NBA roster spot. LeVar had still refused to cede any control of Leangelo's basketball career since high school and as a result, he still hasn't faced any competition that could produce a legitimate NBA evaluation. It didn't help that some players claimed to not have been paid what they were promised by the league, with some players having their stats inflated, including the Ball brothers. Not to mention players gave up their college eligibility to play in the JBA, which quietly folded after just one year. The NBA and G League would later implement an idea similar to the JBA, giving top prospects a chance to get paid while developing their game in the United States instead of playing professionally overseas. Alas, the damage has already been done to those in the JBA. The JBA did little to change the NBA chances for any of the league's players, with LaMelo even returning to high school to get back on draft boards. But the older Leangelo didn't have that option. He was now a professional player without a team and a lingering injury which would make the odds of an NBA ascent much more difficult. In the summer of 2019, Leangelo would have ankle surgery that would keep him out of that year's summer league. And this is despite having the option to have the surgery earlier in order to play in front of NBA coaches and scouts. But a few months after recovering from surgery, he finally got signed as a practice player with the G League's Oklahoma City Blue. And in March, Leangelo would sign on to their roster for the rest of the season. But the Blue only played in one game, during which Leangelo never saw the court. And shortly after, the G League season would be suspended and eventually canceled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Towards the end of 2020, Leangelo would get his first contract with an NBA team, signing a non-guaranteed deal with the Detroit Pistons. Even though it was essentially a training camp deal, there was a noticeable level of excitement surrounding the signing, with billboards popping up welcoming Leangelo to Detroit. Jello had never been closer to getting in an NBA game, and with LaMelo having just been drafted third overall by the Charlotte Hornets, all three ball brothers were now in the NBA in some capacity. But less than two weeks after signing him, the Detroit Pistons waived him without even appearing in a preseason game. In early January 2021, Jello signed a contract to play in the G League bubble, but never got selected during the league's draft and never ended up playing in the bubble. However, his next NBA opportunity would come thanks to his younger brother. The Hornets' bubble-like practices led to each player being allowed to bring one other person to work out with them. Lamelo chose Leangelo, and the Hornets were impressed enough with what they saw to offer him a tryout before adding him to their summer league roster. In his summer league debut, Leangelo looked great, scoring 16 points and showed off his three-point shooting ability with five threes. He flashed more substance with a 10-point performance in the following game. Leangelo ended up averaging over nine points per game in five summer league games, and he played well enough for some to wonder if he could make the Hornets. He was finally performing well in games that were meaningful enough that at least one team would take him seriously enough to give him a shot. Even though it was the team where his brother was the face of the franchise, the Hornets signed and waived him immediately in order to own his G League rights. He ended up entering the G League draft, where he was drafted 14th overall by the Greensboro Swarm, setting him up for his first meaningful season of basketball since he was in high school. In his first game with the Swarm, Leangelo scored 22 points on 9 for 13 shooting, including 4 of 7 on 3s in just 24 minutes off of the bench. A week later, he had another big game with a career-high 26 points and 6 made 3s, but he wasn't able to sustain that hot start. Playing in 28 games, mostly off of the bench, Leangelo averaged less than 5 points per game while playing for a Greensboro team that went just 9 of 23. He shot just 36% on threes and failed to produce consistently enough to be offered 
offered a spot on the Hornets NBA roster. He'd eventually return to the Hornets summer league team in 2022. And while Leangelo only averaged six points across three games, the Hornets still believed he was a prospect worth developing. Charlotte once again reunited the two younger ball brothers, signing Leangelo to a non-guaranteed contract for their training camp. Ahead of the start of the 2022 to 2023 season, Leangelo saw the floor for the first time in an NBA preseason game playing in 14 minutes across three games, although he only made one shot from the floor. As expected, Leangelo didn't make the team with the Hornets, waving him before the season began. He returned to Greensboro to join the Swarm for training camp as he got set to play his second season in the G League. He played in 11 games during the G League showcase, which was an in-season scouting event where all 30 teams can evaluate players to potentially sign to their team. Leangelo averaged 5.7 points and shot 37% on threes in 19 minutes per game, but he only appeared in three regular season games and in limited action only averaged 2.3 points per game. His season in the G League wasn't good enough for him to land an NBA contract, nor was it good enough for the Hornets to bring him back for a third consecutive summer league. Leangelo went through the summer and the start of the NBA and G League seasons unsigned and seemed like his NBA dream was officially dead. But in mid-February, that all changed. Leangelo signed with Astros de Jalisco in Mexico, officially reviving his dormant pro basketball career. His brothers and dad made a video expressing their excitement for him and applauded his opportunity to once again make a name for himself on the court. Hey, congrats on the deal, man. Looking forward to seeing you hoop out there and doing your thing. Get it back on the court and doing what you love to do, man. Much love and wish you much success. G, yes sir, I'm proud of you, man. Can't wait to see you play on the next journey. And I'm proud to watch you, man. Can't wait to see what you do. Hey, hey I'm glad you're on that new team. In Guadalajara, here we come, baby. This isn't the same situation that Leangelo endured when he left UCLA to join a bad team in a lower level Lithuanian league. His new team in Mexico has a history of winning and they play in the top division in Mexican basketball. Taking the lessons from previous steps, Leangelo seems to be making the most of his opportunity, looking good during his first couple of games in Mexico. It's unclear if this is his last chance at making a run to the NBA. At 25 years old, his window of opportunity won't be opening much more than it is right now, unless he ends up dominating in Mexico. Maybe he follows an NBA path similar to Seth Curry, whose father Dell and brother Steph were stars as he attempted to get to the league on his own merits. He was 25 years old as well when he finally got his first real NBA opportunity after bouncing around trying to stick. His consistent shooting is what kept him in the NBA, a skill that Leangelo needs to hone further in order to get back to at least an NBA training camp. It's hard being the middle brother, especially when the other two were top three NBA draft picks. At least he's healthy right now, unlike Lonzo, and Lamelo, and Leangelo deserves praise for continuing to pursue his dream considering what he's been through. But whether he takes full advantage of his opportunity will determine whether he deserves a roster spot in the NBA and finally join his brothers in the big leagues for good. Let me know in the comment section down below, is this the return of Leangelo Ball? Will he make it back to the NBA or should he just give up on his dream altogether? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike and I'm dropping her a mic until our next upload.